let us see the sum a spherical balloon of 21 cm diameter is to be filled up with hydrogen gas at ntp from a cylinder containing the gas at 20 atmosphere at 27 degrees celsius okay the cylinder can hold 2.82 liter of water at ntp calculate the number of balloons that can be filled up so as per this we will take this cylinder this cylinder contains this gas the gas is hydrogen we are taking a cylinder we are taking a cylinder in the cylinder hydrogen gas is present the hydrogen gas is present at which pressure you see 20 atmosphere and which temperature 27 degree celsius this cylinder contains this gas the volume of this cylinder is given here which is 2.82 liter 2.82 liter now we are using this hydrogen gas to fill up the spherical balloon so let us take the spherical balloon we will take we are taking a spherical balloon it is fit it is a fit here so hydrogen gas we are filling here hydrogen gas fills in the balloon this balloon diameter given this balloon diameter is given as 21 cm so radius of this spherical balloon radius of this spherical balloon is given as 10.5 cm now using this cylinder using this cylinder gas how many balloons we can fill up in this cylinder gas is present using this gas how many balloons we can fill up that is the question sir now we can write number of moles number of moles of hydrogen gas number of moles of hydrogen gas in all the balloons all the balloons and uh, number of moles of hydrogen gas in the cylinder in the cylinder will there be any relation between these two in this cylinder hydrogen gas is present which has so and so measurable terms using this gas we are filling the balloon how many balloons that we have to find number of balloons we have to find this balloon radius is given it is a spherical balloon it, its radius is given now i to using this hydrogen gas how many balloons we can fill up now we have taken two words one is number of moles of hydrogen gas in all the balloons and number of moles of hydrogen gas in the cylinder is there any relation between this and this do you think that is there any relation shall we say they are equal or shall we say they are not equal what do you think shall we say they are equal shall we say they are not equal sir we will check whether which is correct we will check now first balloon we are fitting into this cylinder we are filling this balloon with this gas so what happens to the number of moles of hydrogen gas here getting reduced in the cylinder what happens to the pressure of hydrogen gas in the cylinder getting reduced so pressure of hydrogen gas decreases okay second balloon will fit here and let us fill second balloon with this gas due to that pressure of hydrogen gas decreases number of moles of hydrogen gas decreases let us continue with the third balloon fourth balloon and so on while pressure goes on decreasing when the pressure of hydrogen gas here attains one atmosphere attains one atmosphere can we fill further more balloons when the pressure becomes one atmosphere here 
can we fill further balloons using this gas we can't why is it so air pressure is one atmosphere air pressure is how much ntp one atmosphere when the pressure here and here remain same how can you think that this hydrogen gas comes out for filling balloon no more so when the pressure of hydrogen gas here attains one atmosphere hydrogen gas in the cylinder do not come out so we cannot fill further more balloons so we can use this hydrogen gas till it attains one atmospheric pressure then what is the relation between these two you see number of moles of hydrogen gas in all the balloons and number of moles of hydrogen gas in the cylinder will they be equal we can say that uh, they are not equal they are not equal why do we say not equal because all the molecules of hydrogen gas cannot be utilized for filling balloons when it attains when the cylinder hydrogen gas pressure attains one atmosphere then it stops coming out now we will go for a relation now number of moles of balloons we will take as x now we will write number of moles of hydrogen gas hydrogen gas per balloon per balloon we will take then we will write number of moles of hydrogen gas in the cylinder we will take in the cylinder we have taken next we will take another term number of moles of hydrogen gas in the cylinder when the when the pressure of hydrogen gas attains one atmosphere this word then we will take number of moles of hydrogen gas in the cylinder in the cylinder in the sense initial initial value number of moles of hydrogen gas in the cylinder initial now you see that initially cylinder contains this many moles of hydrogen gas using hydrogen gas we are filling the balloon balloon contains certain number of moles of hydrogen gas how many balloons we are filling that is the question so x number of balloons we are filling while filling balloons with hydrogen gas of this here pressure of hydrogen gas in the cylinder goes on reducing when the pressure of hydrogen gas in the cylinder attains one atmosphere then from cylinder no more hydrogen gas comes out okay now we have taken three words one is this one one is this and another one is this what is the relation among these three what is the relation among these three we can say sum of these two equal to this because initially we are taking certain number of moles in this part is utilized for filling balloons part is remaining in the cylinder while pressure of hydrogen gas in the cylinder is one atmosphere okay now we will write uh, this x we will write number of moles is nothing but pressure pv by rt we can take ideal gas equation from ideal gas equation we will substitute number of moles number of moles is uh, pv by rt it is for a balloon it is for a balloon then plus number of moles of hydrogen gas in the cylinder is equal to pv by rt when the cylinder attains uh, when the cylinder attains one atmospheric pressure equal to number of moles of hydrogen gas is pv by rt when the cylinder is taken initially when the cylinder is taken initially now let us substitute the values this x is called number of balloons that number of balloons we have to find so x is unknown term x is unknown term now let us substitute other values 
this pressure will substitute pressure of hydrogen gas in the balloon pressure of hydrogen gas in the balloon is ntp ntp so pressure is equal to one atmosphere so we will substitute pressure pressure is uh, one atmosphere okay pressure value we substitute next v volume of balloon volume of balloon we will substitute balloon is spherical therefore volume is sphere volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube okay now we will substitute this pi value we will substitute pi is equal to 22 by 7 22 by 7 we substituted then r r is called radius of a spherical balloon radius of a spherical balloon is given radius of spherical balloon is given here which is a 10.5 cm cube let us convert this cm cube into liter let us convert this cm cube into liter now we will convert cm cube into liter for which we will divide this by 1000 this is a, it is divided by 1000 okay here liter centimeter cube we converted into liter for which we divided this by 1000 next here r value is there here r value here r value get cancel so we need not bother about this r next temperature of the balloon this balloon is at ntp therefore temperature of this balloon is ntp temperature ntp is called normal temperature and pressure normal temperature and pressure is nothing but stp stp temperature is 273 kelvin next pressure of hydrogen gas in the cylinder when it attains one atmosphere that means pressure is equal to one atmosphere pressure of hydrogen gas is one atmosphere next we will write volume of cylinder volume of cylinder is given here cylinder can hold 2.82 liter of water so volume of cylinder is 2.82 liter volume of cylinder then temperature temperature of cylinder cylinder temperature is given as 27 degree celsius cylinder temperature is given as 27 degree celsius let us convert 27 degree celsius into kelvin okay we substituted the values when the cylinder is at last now initial value we will see now we will see substitute cylinder terms in by considering it is initial pressure of hydrogen gas in the cylinder initially that is a cylinder contains hydrogen gas at 20 atmosphere initially so in the place of pressure let us substitute 20 atmosphere 20 atmosphere next volume of cylinder next we will substitute volume of cylinder volume of cylinder cylinder can hold 2.82 liter so volume of cylinder is 2.82 liter next this r value r value getting cancel in all the cases next we will substitute the temperature temperature is given as 27 degree celsius let us convert that into kelvin okay now we will simplify this on simplifying this we will get x x is called number of balloons x is called a number of balloons now number of balloons comes as 10 x is called a number of balloons number of balloons comes as 